about blockchain and if you think about banks in particular, we have a lot of costs because banking in general requires a lot of contracts, it requires a lot of uh, verification, validation, um, a lot of information, uh, a symmetry that has to move across from different networks. So there's a lot of costs along the way and a lot of friction that happens. Uh, blockchain provides a huge opportunity for banks to actually step back and remove some of that friction. So if you think, if you can pick one example, um, one perfect example might be, for example, um, you know, Bank Centenary, Bank A selling treasury securities to me. Um, that usually works on a T plus three settlement. So we sell the securities today, they will settle Wednesday next week. Now, three days doesn't sound like a long time, but there's a huge credit risk that I'm taking on Centenary or Centenary is taking on me. Because one of us could go down in those next three days, as you may have seen. If you had sold securities to Crane Bank like three days before, you would have lost them all. What does blockchain do? It allows that to simultaneously happen. So you do an, a transaction and it simultaneously settles. So it removes a lot of the credit risk or the surprises that may have happened in those three, uh, that three day window. And they can go on and on. So you do an LC, a letter of credit from a shipper uh, exporting from Hong Kong to Uganda. There's again a settlement risk there that goes away when you have a simultaneous settlement. So blockchain provides a massive opportunity for banks to reduce the time of settlement, to reduce cost, admin cost, reduce capital. There are many, many ways that it actually provides a huge benefit to banks. So I am a convert, I am converted. I'm just gonna think about ways that, that we can enable the environment.